Hi, today I'll be teaching you how to download an app called Tachiyomi. It's a mangarin app and it can be used to read your favorite manga such as Naruto, Soul Leveling and the rest. So the first thing you need to do is to go into your browser. I'll be using Brave, but you can use any browser you want. Then you need to type in Tachiyomi. This is how you spell it. Hit here, then hit download. You may notice that it says it requires Android 5.01 newer. So this basically means that your phone must have Android 5.8, 5.0, sorry, or else the app will not work. So download again, and just, just have to wait. Open install oh yeah this is a good time to mention you will have to let your browser install application from unknown unknown sources so just make sure you have changed that in your settings okay so i'm back and i have now installed the app touch me i'll just move it over here as you first open touch me you will know that you can't use it straight away just hit allow sorry you would have to install the things called extensions Extensions are basically applications inside an application that allow you to source and read the manga. So the best extension for English readers is Mangadex. I've, I've, I've already installed it, so I'll, I can just show you how to install it. You just scroll down the list, find Mangadex, hit install, should only take two seconds. This changes. And it's done. So then what you want to do is, is hit sources and hit browse. So now all your favorite mangas here and you can scroll down the list. But what if you want to search this an important part of the video? What if you would like to search for, let's say, Naruto? You would then realize that you can't. It just brings up this page. So what you want to do is press this button, open in web view. It should then take you to this redirect. This is the official Mangadex website. And you, would ha you, will ha you will have to make an account with Ma Mangadex. It isn't hard. It only takes like five minutes. So then hit login. As you know, I, I already have an account, so I'll have to skip this part to not share my login details. Okay, I'm back. So after you've done that, don't hit back or else you will just go over your login. We want to hit is the X right here at the top left hand corner. Hit X. And then I'll try that again. I'm going to try Naruto again. Wow, I saw it works. So now we have Naruto. It has all the tags at the bottom. It has the synopsis. You can add it to your library. I'll show you that in, later. You can also choose to download individual chapters like this. Very easy. It's your library. Your library is your personal area where all, all your favorite saved manga will appear. And you, you, you can choose to sort your library. You, you can choose to add and delete manga from your library. Okay, so now I've taught you guys how to download and install Touch, touch you and Me. I'll now teach you guys how to make use of some of its cool settings. So if you open up and hit more on the bottom right hand corner, bam and hit settings, bam, you will then be greeted by this page. So the most important setting is this one over here called backup. And here, this lets you store the app data. So your manga and all that kind of stuff on the SD card, the, um, no, sorry, on your, on your, on the SD card, I, I can't speak today, 
on your SD card, the cloud and your phone so that you'll be able to retrieve it as you change your device. With with security, this allows you to for only to open the app. So you'd have to scan your eye or your fingerprint. The, um, the secure screen stops stops people from seeing your the page of the app like in, in this place. Um, and then it also makes the, the screen turn black for you guys. So I'm just going to show you that off on. And then over here is downloads. And here you, you can pretty much just choose where your app downloads are stored. Then this stuff is not too important. It does not really affect your experience too much. St just stuff like this you can change by yourself. 32 bit color if you want. And then this is general. Here you can choose between a light and dark theme. The default one looks like that, but I prefer AMOLED black because the black one looks black and it says fame battery. So yeah, and I think that about wraps up. Um, if there are any more things you would like to, you would like me to teach you guys, just post down in the comments and I'll try and make another video. We'll, we'll get back to you. And ma make sure to like, subscribe and share this video to your, your friends who read manga. Um, and, and to tell me in the comments, what, what is your favorite app you use to read manga?